Right, the time is 6.13. Let's check your weather here with meteorologist Thomas Geboy. You know, Thomas, this is the perfect storm. It's on the resorts and off my driveway. Well, yeah, so far it has been perfect, but once we get into the day tomorrow, we could see a little bit of a change to that where some accumulations will be possible down to the valley floors. But in some of our valleys, we're going to be talking about times of snow today, especially in portions of southwestern Utah like Cedar City in a winter storm morning in effect and through until five o'clock in the morning or five o'clock in the evening tomorrow. So that winter storm morning in southwestern Utah, south central Utah, we're going to see times of heavy snow. But in Cedar City, we could actually go from snow this morning to a wintry mix this afternoon then back to snow into tonight while St. George mainly going to be seeing times of rain in the winter weather advisories. These will begin at 11 o'clock this morning will continue through five o'clock in the evening Tuesday or five o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. The higher terrain will last just a little bit longer, but we are not done with the active weather by any stretch of the imagination because we have another storm system currently on the way that's currently working its way through California. We're going to see a warm front lift north through Utah as we go throughout the first portion of the day. Then a cold front moves through later on tonight. And with the cold, colder air moving in, that's when we'll likely start to see more of that rain transition over into snow. But on the storm tracker radar currently, we are seeing times of rain, snow, and a wintry mix in northern Utah, including the Wasatch Front. Definitely a slippery go of things between Lehigh and up towards West Jordan so far this morning on the I-15 corridor. Got wet weather moving over the Great Salt Lake that could find its way to the northern Wasatch Front within the next couple of hours. Snow in the Wasatch back and when you get up into the canyons as well. So slippery conditions out there in northern Utah, just isolated shower activity in the eastern portion of the state, generally east of Moab. But if you're traveling, say, between Green River and Grand Junction, building some extra time. Meanwhile, in southwestern Utah, we have seen rain in St. George throughout the morning. Got more rain on the way from the southwest, seeing times of light snow around Cedar City, but definitely around the mountains, seeing times of steadier snow and even a wintry mix around Zion National Park so far this morning. So it has been a wet go of things this morning with even more wet weather that's going to be on the way. Here's the view Deer Valley where the snow is currently falling. So in the mountains in northern Utah, we are still seeing times of steady snow. And then as we make our way down into southern Utah and St. George raindrops here on the camera lens, a rain soaked red rock off in the distance. It's 30 degrees in Logan, 28 degrees in Heber City, 36 in Salt Lake, 32 degrees in Provo, and we're sitting at 40 degrees currently in St. George in those daytime highs today before the cold front moves through. We'll see a high of 42 in Salt Lake 40 degrees in Provo, so most along the Wasatch Front, upper 30s, low 40s, 38 degrees in Cedar City, 48 degrees in St. George, and a daytime high of 28 in Vernal. And in Vernal, we'll have, we're going to have the chance for wet weather with a chance of snow, but during the morning, just be careful as there is also times of dense fog in the Uinta Basin. Let's go ahead and time things out for you on the future cast beginning at 8 o'clock this morning. And as that warm front lifts north, the chance for wet weather will increase across the state throughout the first half of the day. That best chance will be in the southern two thirds of the state, mainly going to be valley rain, mountain snow before the cold front starts to work its way through into tonight. And even as the cold front moves away, there's still going to be a decent amount of moisture in behind where we even could see a few flakes in St. George tonight and then throughout the day tomorrow, holding on to a decent chance for even straight snow showers along the Wasatch Front as those daytime highs will come down just a bit compared to what we saw today or what we're going to see today. And then things really won't be winding down, especially in the higher train until we get into the day on Wednesday. But also on top of the chance for Valley rain, mountain snow, snow showers. There's also going to be the chance we hear a few rumbles of thunder in the southwestern portion of the state, which means thunder snow can't be ruled out. And this is the snow potential through Tuesday, where you're going to see that in our mountains, expecting another healthy dose of snow through tomorrow. But as we get into the day tomorrow, we're also going to see the chance for some minor accumulations down to our valley floors. Just depends on how quickly we see the change over and just how much moisture is left behind with that cold front. In St. George, rain likely for today, then into tonight. Could see a few flakes mixing in, but mainly looking at rain with an overnight low only dropping to 36. A chance of rain on Tuesday, dry on Wednesday, then the chance of rain and snow on Thursday with colder air in place, but then looking mostly dry into and through this upcoming weekend. Then along the Wasatch Front, rain and snow showers for today. Mainly valley rain and mountain snow, especially this afternoon, but we could see that transition to straight snow into tonight, keeping that through tomorrow. Dry on Wednesday, snow showers possible on Thursday, dry Friday and Saturday. Then a snow chance does return by the end of the upcoming weekend.